Okay. Hello, dear students. Today we are going to see experiment number five. The title of the experiment is to determine the pH of the given sample using pH paper or universal indicator. Now we are going to use universal indicator. I'll show you first what is universal indicator. See, this is universal indicator. Okay. So this solution is reddish in color. Okay. On the same bottle, you will see the different colors of the solution. Along with that, you will have the pH written over here. Okay. See here, the 7 pH, which is greenish in color, means this is the neutral solution. Okay. See, in your journal also, we are going to write in the boxes. So, below 7, below 7 means 6.5, 6, 5.5, 5, 6, 5, 5 and 4. These are acidic solutions and the colors you can see the different colors okay same colors you will see when we will see the samples above 7 these are all basic solutions and it go the ph goes from 7.5 to 11 okay and observe the color change when we will take the sample so this is universal indicator now the given samples are dilute hydrochloric acid solution of dilute sodium hydroxide dilute acetic acid lemon juice dilute sodium bicarbonate solution okay now i'll show you the solutions first now this is dilute hydrochloric acid then this is dilute sodium hydroxide solution third solution is not there we are having the lime juice and the fourth solution is sodium bicarbonate and water okay so now let us start the experiment now let us take first solution that is dilute hydrochloric acid take small amount of dilute hydrochloric acid into the test tube see like this and now this is the universal indicator i am going to use the dropper to put few drops that is two or three drops of universal indicator see here and observe the color change. See here, can you see the color change? Now I will shake it properly. See the color change. So, what is the color? It is red color. Now let us check the pH. See here. Now the pH of the solution is 4. Okay, this is red in color. Alright. So, this is hydrochloric dilute hydrochloric acid. Now, let us take second solution NaOH sodium hydroxide. This is dilute sodium hydroxide. Okay. Again put two or three drops of the universal indicator. Shake it well. Okay. See the color change. This is purple in color okay this is purple in color now let us see what is the ph see here the ph of the solution is 11 this is purple in color so ph of the solution is 11 so this is basic solution okay now let us take the fourth solution that is lime juice as i told i don't have ethanic acid now let us take the fourth solution that is lime juice. Take two or three drops of universal indicator, shake it well. See here, this is orange in color. Okay. Dilute ethanic acid is also having the orange color. Okay that I will send the PDF in that you can note it down. Now, let us see the color. See here, the orange color, the pH is 5. Okay. So, this is again acidic. Now, let us take the fourth solution that is water. This is pure water or you can take the tap water also. Water. Now, again put two, three drops of 
universal indicator shake it well see nice color change this is green in color correct this is green in color now let us check the ph see here if you see the color change the ph is 7 so water which is neutral so the color is green and the ph of the solution is 7 all right now let us take the sixth solution that is dilute sodium bicarbonate see here again i am taking small amount of okay now put two three drops of the universal indicator now here you have to clearly distinguish the color because this color and the previous one color is mostly going to be seen as same but there is a lot of difference that also i'll show you okay now here okay see the color change see this is violet color correct now you may say that say this is also looking like purple but i'll show you the clear difference between the purple and violet can you see the clear difference see this is violet color this is purple color is it so there is a clear difference between them because now this violet is having ph which is slightly less than the purple one that is 10 see here this color and the ph is 10 okay so like this we have to check the ph of different solutions now i'll show you all the colors in the test tube stand see here okay now i'll see this is water correct this is base this is orange in color means this is acid this is also acid this is violet in color means this is base so like this you had to do the experiment and check the pH with the different colors and that color you had to match with the pH scale and note it down. Like this you have to complete the experiment and then you have to write the inference that I will give you into the PDF. I hope the experiment is clear to you all. Thank you.